Hi, I'm Matt, the photographic director at Condé Nast Traveller. I'm Ronya, the chief sub-editor of Condé Nast Traveller. And here are some of our favourite places in the city of London. It may look all glamour, 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 but being an influencer... It's hard. It's really hard. Grind is a cool little group of coffee shops across London known for its punchy espresso Morning. and neon light styling. Morning. It all started in an old mobile phone shop on the Old Street Roundabout 10 years ago. But I like the one at the Royal Exchange for a quick caffeine kick in the morning. You can also buy coffee to take home in one of the UK's first completely compostable coffee pods so it gets extra bonus points for being green as well. Oh, that's better. Morning. Morning. I do love it, actually. It's so relatively quiet here in the city. Ooh. Now that everyone is at work. I feel the rumble of the trains. There has been a cathedral dedicated to St. Paul on this spot for 1,400 years. Today, Today, we're getting a, a backstage pass. Private tour. Let's do it. Shall we go the in? current incarnation and landmark dome is the work of Sir Christopher Wren. It's incredible, isn't it? To think how much manual labour yeah. went into just building the structure, never mind the finishing and all of this I know. decorative detail inside. It's just, yeah. there's so much to see, isn't there? Everywhere you look, there's something else to yeah. sort of take in. How amazing to be, have it all to ourselves. I know. The foundation stone was laid by Wren in 1675 when he was 43. And the final one was put in place by his son 35 years later. Oh. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's very spectacular. It's amazing. Is that what people did was into the wall? Can you whisper? Can you hear me? I need a wee <laughs> really badly. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to make it down. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to distract them. OK? Grunya, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> At the top end of the cathedral is the 85 metre high golden gallery. But brace yourself for the climb. It's 528 steps up. I mean, come on, uh, this is amazing. Hello. <gasps> oh my God. I've lived in London for so long and this is a totally different perspective. On yeah, it. and yet another new experience. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to pop an offer in. I say it's not worth 450, but hey, it is a big one better, so we'll give it a we'll give it a go. Can you see me? <laughs> I know. I've bought it. <laughs> and so it is our finding that she should be hung from the neck until dead <laughs> for witchcraft. Not too far from St. Paul's, the little known spot of Postman's Park is a great place to sit and take a break from the always on city all around. Oh, you're going to get that spritz. Oh, it's fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, it is nice. Greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. John, uh, around quarter past three. I mean, it's not, it's not to say what day that is. This curious tiled memorial was dreamt up by 19th century artist George Watts when Victorian developers wanted to build on the land. Here we are in Postman's Park, and this is a memorial to heroic self-sacrifice. Elizabeth Boxall, aged 17, died of injuries received whilst trying to save a child from a runaway horse, 1888.
pigeons are at it. Pigeons are cooing. Garden's in full bloom. And a healthy reminder that trouble is not far away. It's a bit morbid, but I quite like it. Yeah, it is a curiosity. Yeah. I will grant you that. Victorian curiosity. It is, a, it is a interesting curio. But like the Victorians were quite morbid and things, weren't they? Yes. You know what I mean? They were a maudlin old bunch. Yeah. yeah. So an honourable and and sexy. All that jazz. I think I read something about them being really sexy. The Barbican is the marmite of London architecture. Personally, I'm a fan of this concrete vision of a post-war utopian society. As soon as I walk in. It's got a real calming effect on me. I've come to many live performances here and there's more to discover on every visit, such as the Hothouse Conservatory with its tropical plants and resident turtles. Oh, lush. There's a little secret walkway. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lovely. All this burst of colour. Like some peppermint. How much are they? How much for the turtle? And it's got that sort of high, hanging gardens of Babylon yeah. vibe. It does. You know what yes. I mean? When it's just pure greenery. Hanging gardens of brutalism. The hanging gardens <laughs> of Barbican. Look at this amazing guy. Wonder how long he's been there. Well, there's cobwebs on it. So. <laughs> Long fuzzy one. A weeping fig. A what? A weeping fig. It's also a brilliant place to see art, from past exhibitions of Jean-Michel Basquiat to a recent display of work by French painter and sculptor Jean de Buffet. I do like these there, that's quite a... Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, it has got eyes. Ah. Art gallery. Theatre. Concert of an evening. Concert hall. Martini bar. Martini bar. Arid house for your succulents. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Madam. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Blacklock Restaurant is a carnivore's dream. It's all about big platters of steaks and chops. Yeah, I'll have an old fashioned, please. It's the kind of place where office workers come for lunch and end up settling in for the afternoon. The cocktails are pretty good too. It's like a bistro kid. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Let me get you a chop. Please. Thank you. Get that chop on there. Oh, look out, Mary Berry. Price, <laughs> Guanya. Tame it down a bit, won't you? Look at you. <laughs> Greedy guts. from your plate. Okay, wait for a pork chop. Absolutely no shame. Squishy bread. That's filthy. Isn't it? I thought it was all wonderful. There were two sides of this porterhouse. One of them was like eating marshmallow. Whoa, okay. So we normally kind of do this on, on a say when basis. White chocolate cheesecake. I don't like white chocolate that much. I'm not a sweet person. Have you finished yours? I only had a spoonful of really <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. To the city.